Hello everyone, Joe Flowers here, and I'm really excited to show you this new skill that you probably haven't seen before. I've been waiting for the right time to show it. What is the right time? Well, right now, because I'm debuting my new company, Bushcraft Global, an expedition company that takes you into the heart of the Amazon jungle with indigenous guides and professional bushmen to learn primitive skills, a new mindset, self-reliance, and to have one of the best experiences of your life. These skills that you're learning in the jungle though are not just applicable to that environment. We're trying to give you the context so that you're able to use these anywhere you go. So, you're going to need a handy dandy grocery bag and a knife. Using your grocery bag and your knife, you're gonna be making this high tensile strength cordage out of trash. Now, this was taught to me by another Bushcraft Global Expedition leader, the multinational and multi-talented Gorin. Um, he lives down in Colombia, and he learned this from a guy in the Caribbean. They used to make cordage out of whatever they could find. This was a method that he showed me. So I just call this more or less the Gorin cordage method because it's important to know where some of these skills come from. That way they're not just lost on the internet or in the academia somewhere. So that's where I learned it from. And I think it's very important if you learn a certain skill, especially if it's unique, to make sure you tell people where you got it from. So you're gonna start out with your garbage bag. I'm doing this on a cutting board just so you can see everything a lot easier. You wanna cut it into strips horizontally or just along the plane. Uh, you can separate this. Maybe I'll just kind of... Believe it or not, this, if you do it correctly and you practice a lot, this will yield a long piece of cordage. And maybe I'll cut that off. I don't, you don't really need to worry about that too much. So your next step is to fold it. And as you can see, I'm pushing the air out of it. That's super duper important. Really important. Get the air out of there. Otherwise, you're gonna create weak spots where the air is going to push the bag open. And it's not gonna be able to weld when you twist it. So I'm folding it both towards the inside. I like to do it that way. I've seen it done to where you just make it like that too. This is just how I do it personally. I don't know why, but that's how I do it. Maybe I like tamales too much, who knows. Now we're still pushing all the air out. I'm gonna fold this again. And I'm gonna try and fold it another time to try and get it as thin as possible here, like this. And then bite it. And start the twist while still pushing the air out. Like that. And then twisting a lot. Twist, twist, twist. Twist, 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 twist. Keeping that twist. Are you ready for the next part? Because your mind's about to be blown away. air pocket. Remember how I said air is your enemy? That's still the same deal. We want to slightly pull those to get them out. And there you go. String that is pretty high tensile. Your next logical question is how strong is this stuff I just made? While I wouldn't go repelling with it, it's definitely enough to trust for some pretty hefty loads. Now I'm just kind of rocking back on it. I've got this other stuff that Gorn made in Colombia. Really strong. I mean, really, really strong. And it also depends on the density of plastic and uh, how many times you fold it to. But just what is this super strong plastic? Can you see that? It's just a Coca-Cola wrapper from Colombia. 
as with anything, practice is gonna make it perfect. But here's a tip that's gonna help you a lot. If you look on the right side here, this is a more uniform piece of cordage. It's rounder, it has a more tight twist. On the left side here, even though it's the same piece, it's got a more ribbon-like texture, kind of like dental floss. Well, the stuff on the right side there is going to be much, much stronger. You need to keep the twist while you're pulling and work in small little spots rather than trying to pull the whole thing at once and continue twisting while you're pulling so that you get a more uniform pull because this is going to be very strong. But this spot here where it's going to be flat and ribbon like is going to be where your brakes are going to happen. Okay, so we took all of the grocery bags that I made from the experiment. I put a, a, uh, a hook on them and then threw that in the water and caught this catfish just leaving it in there. Now the hook's really embedded in there really well, but you can see this is a pretty good sized catfish. This isn't any little panfish. I don't know, maybe it's about three and a half, four or five pounds. And it held on there with this stuck in the ground and then these knotted together. This wasn't even one continuous piece of uh, grocery bag string. You know, knots are supposed to cause a weak part in any piece of cordage and it still held really, really well. So there's a test that I'm pretty happy with. We'll go ahead and let this guy go. Nice, that'd be delicious. That'd definitely feed me for a day. Now to get all this muck and snot off my hands. I'm Joe Flowers for Bushcraft Global and you just learned how to make grocery bag fishing line. You've been watching how to make Gorn Cordage or Cordage from a Grocery Bag, turning trash into treasure. Go to bushcraftglobal.com. Check out our expedition coming up this fall. Come with us, have the trip of a lifetime. Also subscribe down below to learn unique tips and techniques that you won't find anywhere else. Bushcraftglobal.com, go there.